All right, so let's start with the big story that we are tracking on Vion at this hour. The Kurdish-led forces have said that they've raided parts of a prison seized by the ISIS fighters in northeastern Syria. Now, according to reports that have come in, at least about 300 of the so-called ISIS terrorists have surrendered on Monday. The Syrian Democratic Forces have said that the ISIS fighters were still holed up in other buildings. And plans are underway to try and clear the rest of the detention complex in the Hasaka city. There are at least about 180 inmates and 27 security officials who have died in the fighting ever since the ISIS terrorists attacked the jail on Thursday last week in a bid to free their members. Now remember on Thursday there were two explosive packed vehicles that rammed into the Kurdish run Hwaryan prison. And this was a jailbreak operation that has plunged the city of Hasake into complete chaos. The United Nations Children's Agency, the UNICEF, has called for the immediate evacuation of 850 children who are held inside the prison complex with their families. At least about 10% of the children who are trapped are believed to be 15 years old or young, younger than that. And most minors are in the age group of 12 to 15. Now, UNICEF has said that the children who were being held inside this prison are an immediate risk. And also the Human Rights Watch heard voice messages from an injured minor at the Huarian prison who reported that there are bodies, that is dead bodies, everywhere. The prison is the largest such facility that is publicly known where the SDF is holding suspected ISIS terrorists and other detainees including 850 children. The aid group has said that the prison is overcrowded and inhumane conditions are prevalent inside of this prison. Now, according to Human Rights Watch, the SDF holds a total of about 12,000 men and boys who are suspected to be affiliated with the so-called Islamic State. Up to 45,000 people are said to have fled from the city of Pasake so far. <laughs> Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.